Hello everybody and welcome to the Mer Music YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my new pedal board. So right away I'm just going to talk you guys through the signal chain of this whole board and then I'll just play so you can hear what all the pedals sound like in the end. But I go from my electric guitar into input one straight away into this silver pedal here which is a clone of a Klon Centaur. A uh, fantastic kind of transparent overdrive buffered pedal. Then from that, I go into this orange pedal that I also built, which is a clone. It's basically a true bypass tube screamer. Then out of there, I go into this black pedal over here, which is similar to a JHS ACEC or the Gunger pedal, if you've ever heard of that. And essentially what that allows you to do is share a uh, effects loop or a send return between an electric and acoustic guitar. So I go in from electric through my dirt into that. And then you can see right there that that comes out here into my tuner, uh, Polytune by TC Electronic. Out of that into my Echo Rec by Catlin Bread, which is a fantastic, I really like that pedal. Uh, it emulates the Echo Plex or a, a nice tape delay. So it's got that kind of swirly twirly gumdrop tape delay kind of sound. Then out of there, we go into the Boss DD7, which is just a real nice, crisp uh, digital delay. And then coming out of that, I go into the Digitech Jam Man Stereo, which is a stereo looper pedal. Um, and then I go from there back into this Gunger pedal over here, and then out of there to the output. You can just barely see it right there, which goes out to my amp. So my electric guitar signal chain comes in, doop, doop, doop. Doop, 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 out. Which that allows me to do here is that if I switch over this pedal, then I can plug in my acoustic guitar into input two, and that goes straight away up into this pedal top right, which is the Red Eye Twin by FireEye. Um, fantastic pedal, I love that a lot. It's a great piezo preamp pedal. So if you have any guitars that have piezo pickups in them, that one will make them sound good. Then out of the effects loop of that pedal, I go into this Gunker pedal, into the same tuner, delay, 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 looper, uh, back into that, and then I go out right there. You can see it, an XLR out to your PA or whatever you would have. So it allows me to share the same tuners and delays and loopers between my acoustic guitar and my electric guitar, which is really nice, and I can send them to my electric amp or out to the acoustic PA. Beautiful. And then there's a third input on this side, which is just the same, it's the instrument B into the Fire Eye Twin, which I use primarily for mandolin, but I actually haven't used that yet since I've had this board. And then finally, closing it off here, totally separate from everything else we see up here, top left is my iPhone there, which I'm running one track. And then down bottom right is this Animal Effects. Uh, Bluetooth Page Turtle, another pedal that I built, and it's essentially just a Bluetooth switch to turn on and off the pads up here. So what that does is give you an ambient pad. You can cue backing tracks or anything like that. I have it set up to be stereo outputs from the board so I can send left, right, uh, click, cue, or backing tracks from that and cue it all up there. But that's totally separate from the guitar signal chain and all that. But it adds a really nice effect and gives you that nice extra layer of interesting thing going on, filling in space underneath. So with all that out of the way, I'm going to play for you here. Right now I'm playing through a custom built Telecaster with APC pickups. Spoilers, you get to hear this guitar before you get to see it. There'll be a video about this coming up soon, so make sure you subscribe to not miss out on that. But in the meantime, here is my clean zone.
All right, now if we just switch gears and I plug in the acoustic. Well, let me know what you guys thought of my pedal board. I'd love to hear your thoughts, ways to do it better, or things you liked about it. But most of all, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.